Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sing Sisters. So today's video is all about taking a screenshot on your Mac. Right, and I think most people know about taking a screenshot and getting your whole screen, but there's so much more you can do. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So here we are um, on our Mac, and we have Word up, and we actually have the outline for this video up. And so first we're going to show how to take a screenshot of the whole screen. So what you want to do is you want to hold down the command key and the shift key and hold those down together, keep them held down, and then tap the three. Right. And that's important that you hold those two keys down. Don't try to do all three of them at once. Right. Yeah. Now, if you notice, you heard the little camera shutter noise. If you have your vol volume up, you'll hear that because it's taking a picture, right? And when it takes a screenshot, what it does is it puts a .png file, a graphic file, on your desktop. Right. So if I come over here, you can see that I have, I actually have two files, which oh. might be confusing, but what I have going on is I have my laptop plugged into my big monitor. So right. it actually took a screenshot of both desktops. Which is kind of nice. Yeah. yeah, which is nice. But uh, if you're just on a regular computer or just on your laptop, just one computer, it, you only have one file. Right. So we're just going to go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, when it names it, it names it, if I click on this and open it up, it names it screenshot and then it puts the date and then it puts the time. Which is great. Yep. So you know exactly when it was taken. And if I double click on it and open it. It's my screen, That's right? That's right. It's the whole screen. Menus, yeah. And everything. I think you brought up a good example. Of why would you ever want to take a screenshot of your whole screen? You know, maybe you're always having this air come up or this funny thing going on. And you, you need to ask, you know, someone about oh, how do I fix this? Quick, take a screenshot. Right. I thought that right. was a great example. Right. You see, it just opened it in preview. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. Now, um, that was to your whole screenshot. Right. You what if not, you want to take part of your screen? You can do it. You can take yeah. just a part of it. <laughs> So to do that, you're going to hold down the command key and the shift key together again. And then uh, you're going to hit the number four. Okay. And when I did that, if you notice, now I um, I took my hands off the keyboard so you don't have to keep them down. Once it, oops. Oops. Oh, let me get it back up there. Um, so it turns into a little crosshair. Right. So and that means you're going to be able to select an area. So I'm going to go ahead and... Say I want to select right. this area. And it looks like it's giving you the coordinates of the pixels of the screen, right. too. Right. So just... if you're really mathematical with pixels and the yeah. screens, you could really get into it. Right. Um, but you could, you know, that's a good point. You could control the pixel size. Maybe right. Maybe you're doing a, a shot of something to use on a website and you have to have this a certain amount of pixels. ratio. Right. 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 So now when I lift up, there you hear the camera noise. And we can see <clears throat> down here my screenshot. If I open that up, oops, oops, there it is, just the area that I selected. Right. Now I notice it's kind of rough. You've got a little bit of the background showing. Yep. And I want to I want to just get the window because I'm going to do some ah. training materials okay. and I only want the window. You know what? You can do that. Okay. I'm going to show you. If you want to take just a screenshot of a window, and you, there's a way to do that. And you can, um, in this example, we're taking a screenshot of a program window, but it could be a browser window, any window, that any you window. Have a, a finder window, finder anything. Finder window, yep. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, it's going to be similar to uh, taking a screenshot of a specific area. First, I'm going to do Command, Shift, hold those down. I'm going to hit 4. You see how my mouse turned into a cursor. Now, I'm going to hit the space bar. Aha. And it's a camera, and then I'm going to click. Cool. Look at that. Now this <clears throat> is really nice. Is this one? No, this one. Yeah. Yeah. That one. If I double click on this, you can see it took it's just the window. Move it away from the other right. window. It looks just the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's nice. It's a whole window. It's, you know, you can see all the menus, and it's it's a nice feature. Right. And the last one to show you. Uh -huh. is taking a pic screenshot of just a menu. Oh, a menu, right. If you had a question about a menu item, or again, if you were doing some kind of right. uh, training manual or something, you want right. to get a nice clean window you know, or menu, right. excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> so if I, I'm in Word, it could be in any program or browser or whatever. If I click on a menu and bring it up, um, you know, for example, maybe uh, I'm going to, you know, have meets a friend of mine and I know they use this program and I want to ask them like, what is this word count or whatever, right. you know, I could bring it with me right? or text it to them. So once I have that up, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold the command and shift key down. 
And then I'm going to hit four. Whoops, command shift four. And I get the crosshairs. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the space bar again. And it becomes a camera. And, and you, you can, can see just the window, the menu is highlighted now. Right. And I can click. Right. Awesome. Yep. And then I double click and it see it's just the menu. Nice and clean. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. Yeah. So it's who perfect. knew you could do so many things? Oh, and if, we forgot. If you're lucky enough to have a a pro, a brand new uh, MacBook Pro, MacBook with the, with Pro the, uh, with the lovely touch bar. Touch bar. Uh, if you'd like to make a screenshot of just the touch bar. Oh, that's cool. Because you have a question or you want to show it to someone, it's um, you hold down the Command Shift key and press six. Perfect. Yeah, great. So I have fun uh, taking screenshots. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.